Nate. Hey, I'm Dave Matthews, uh, primary art lead on on Fear Two Project Origin, and this is Dev Q and A number three. Nate, what's going on, man? All right, so uh, just to give kind of give you a heads up, it's about like three thirty, three forty in the morning right now. Um, we're deep into beta and we're cranking through stuff, but we wanted to get some of these questions asked, answered. Uh, this this is Nate Hendrickson. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, how's it going? I'm Nate, Nathan Hendrickson. <laughs> uh, let's, let's just start diving in. Yeah. We're, we're going to answer questions. <laughs> is that what I'm here for? <laughs> uh, this comes from Revan. Will you take damage from Alma attacking you or is it just scares? Because Alma actually gets a lot closer to you this time, you're going to actually start to get, you're going to feel the influences of her. We wanted to amp her up a bit so that she became a, a true threat to the player and, uh, and thus damage it. So, oh, will there be two shotguns? And that comes from Jufro. Uh, absolutely, there's going to be two shotguns. We have the old traditional pump that everybody loves, but we also have the clip fed shotgun. High rate of fire. Very powerful. Nice. Uh, based on the last dev blog, which I didn't participate in, <laughs> uh, I gather that there are more than one forms of all my inner older form. How many are there? And that is from uh, Shadow Dark Slayer. There will be. But I can't tell you too much about it. All I want you to do is, is sit down and imagine this. Think of your grandmother in the shower. <laughs> one form. I'm not going to tell the other. You can tell the other form. That's just the one I wanted to give because I think it's, it resonates with a lot of people out there. Um, it doesn't resonate with me. It doesn't? No. Oh. God servant. Uh, what's the philosophy of the people behind Alma? What is the humanity of them? Well, I think the philosophy, uh, being Armacam, uh, behind Alma is they, they they wanted to use her as a vessel to create the psychic soldiers, the psychic commanders. Um, and as far as humanity, I think I'm not going to make a, an exposition on the majority of the mega corporations out there, but uh, I don't think a lot of them have humanity. Oh, it's this dude. All right, first off, please write a post so I understand exactly what lead speak this is. This is a uh, at 50 AE plus lines, I think is the last part, or lineos, lineos, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, he asks, or she, uh, will there be more stuff that blows up? Shut I mean, it's like, it's, hope the, so. it's, it's one of the hallmarks of fear. I mean, we love that chaos of combat. Um, so I think what you're going to see is, I mean, inside, outside, we really ratcheted up all the activity that occurs during combat. So yes, in fact, you're going to see more shit that blows up. Uh, Echo uh, 111. Uh, how do you envision all those freaky paranormal moments? It really takes uh, some twisted minds. I think probably from the dev blogs already, you can already see that we're a little bent. We're pretty messed up, uh, and we're proud of it. Sam 100 wants to know why Alma wants to touch the protagonist in the game. Do the player have to do anything to defend himself from Alma attacks and abomination grapples? Alma want to touch me. Alma wants to touch you for a wide variety of reasons, but we'll let the game tell you those reasons. Uh, but yes, you will be able to defend yourself and push them off and take them off. Mm -hmm. Lion Cake asks, in what year does fear take place? The near future. Sorry, I jumped that. I was going to say about like future plus five or ten. Well, there you go. Uh, Jordy. Jordy asks, what is an average day at Monolith Productions like? Pretty much like any other job that you'd have. Um, and I'm sure, like right now as I'm talking, you're going to start to see a lot of little snippets of everything that's just pretty much normal. Yeah, yeah. Um, nothing out of the ordinary, average day. Uh, RXP wants to know, how and why did you pick the name Alma? I'm passing the buck. Uh, Alma, Alma actually it comes from the book uh, Ghost Story, and it's one of the characters from Ghost Story. Uh, if you haven't read the book, it's pretty creepy. It's great to read, and you start to get some of the influences that went into fear. Um, Dark Glaive 88. Uh, what kind of soundtrack could we expect from Fear 2 Project Origin? What well, sounds similar to the original Fear, or have you created an entirely new soundtrack from scratch? Uh, my name is Brian Pemintuan, uh, the audio director for Monolith. I think the soundtrack that you'll get, as far as musically overall, is pretty dynamic. Um, this round, that we really tried to take the music and actually put it uh, dynamically changing to how the AI reacts. Uh, Oyster asks, uh, is Stokes voiced by Jen Taylor, a.k.a. Cortana? Damn, you're good. Uh, yes, in fact, she is, um, but she's not Cortana. She's not Stokes, and there's a difference. 
Dokes is cooler. Can, she Can anyone hear this? I need help now! And she also played Kate Archer in the Null series. How about that? It doesn't matter. Uh, is Alma actually dead? I know they said, uh, they, I know they say she died six days after life support was pulled, but did she manage to keep herself alive through her psychic ability somehow? Or is it uh, really just her ventral spirit causing all the mayhem? Well, let's just say her body is dead. Yes, she did die. Once. And once. And she has become something much more than that. Something unexplainable. Florian wants to know, will there be more of the answering machine laptop style story progression? Will we have the option of replaying those conversations through the pause menu? We uh, have a lot of story in this game, so you know most of it's going to be out there for you to see uh, without having to search for. We have a lot more cinematics, which is what I do. Um, and uh, the a lot more voiceover, people calling you and saying things. So, But we do have a PDA, believe it or not. This guy worked on it. Real quick, uh, the PDA is there so that all the people that want really in-depth background information, it's all there at your fingertips, accessible at any time, as long as you've picked up the intel items. And that's what I forget to mention. Is we do have intel items, but they're more optional story stuff. <laughs> Donald Bunswell asks, what kind of beers do you developers like? Are there any Lots. good in the state of Washington? Are you planning to send us some? Because if so, any is good. So Richard A. Colson, what's your favorite part about working on this game? Uh, my favorite part about working on this game, honestly, has been like everybody that's on the team. The team is freaking awesome. Um, I'm really, I, I've worked at a lot of places. I've been, been in the industry for a long time. Uh, and what I really enjoy about this team is the caliber, the quality of the people, and how cool they all are. Except for you. Screw you then. All right, well, uh, I think that concludes dev Q&A number three. Um, keep those questions coming. They're awesome. Yes. Uh, thanks for keeping us up at night. Or.